Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a card that a lot of you have been asking about. It is from Eldrick Moon, Grim Flayer. I initially reviewed the card. I didn't feel it was that good. I didn't want to hype it up because honestly, there's been so many black or green cards for two that I have fell in love with and have not returned that same affection. So I didn't want to get involved with this card, but it is very good. So it's $22.99 right now, TCZ Maids. During the pre-order price, or you could have gotten for under $10. And at the lowest point, it was $7.95. The card is playable in modern. It is being played in various modern decks. Some of them tier 1 decks. And it does things that are very good and very powerful on turn 2. So it has Trample. It's a 2-2 Trampler. And whenever it hit, does combat damage to a player, you mill free of your cards. And that is pretty good. But it's not only milling. It's you can put any number of cards into your graveyard. And the rest back on top of your library in any order. So it's also card selection. So it's like kind of a pseudo brainstorm. And that is the part that I didn't understand when I first reviewed the card, how powerful that effect is. I just read it as it's going to mill you free cards every time. But if you need a land, you can put the land on top of your library. If you need a creature, you can grab the creature, whatever you need. It is very good and modern with a card called Lingering Souls with the flashback mechanic. And the Delirium is much easier to do because it enables itself. One of the problems I had with Delirium was how we were going to turn it on. How easy was it going to be to turn on? And obviously Modern is easier than Standard. But in Standard, a lot easier to turn on. And this actually helps you turn on so you get the giant spider with the tokens. Overall, a card that I underestimated and undervalued because I didn't want to um, it's hard for me to look at these two colors and look at a two drop and not think of another card from Return to Ravnica which I which turned out to be a terrible speculation for me and yeah I should have pulled the trigger on this card I felt it was very strong and I just didn't I didn't read the second ability, the mill ability correctly. Because it's not just mill, it's mill plus you get um, card, you get to increase your card quality and you get to find out what you, you get to find what you need and put it on top of your deck. And that's the important part. Anyway, oh, it's also a big body. Obviously, it's a 4-4 trampler once you enable delirium. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Were you able to purchase any of these super early for a good price? Or are you stuck with trying to purchase it now? Anyway, bye guys.